DLC4 is actually very special to me because, as it says, it's a lot of the women. We have two main characters there. One is Teresa, which you may know from the original game. And uh, we see the events we know already from a completely different angle, from her side, which is first uh, very interesting, at second very dramatic, and also very, very sad. And uh, to me, as, 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 as a composer, it was a particularly interesting character because after all the things she has been through, uh, she's still able to go through it and still live and be the part of Henry's story in the main game. Hey, go fuckers! And then uh, there is this uh, Johanka, which we kept so far as a surprise, as far as I know. Uh, and this part of the DLC is uh, about uh, sort of a religion, belief, but also about despair. And it depends only on Henry how uh, the story of this Johanka will end. At first, I've been thinking this way. It's a women's story. It's the story of two strong women characters. So the first thing which hit my mind was I need a solo vocal, solo voice. Because there is nothing more, nothing stronger than a solo voice of woman singing over uh, an accompaniment or even without it. The, the women we see uh, are facing huge events, they happened around in the world, but the sadness they feel, it's still a very intimate thing for them, it's their inner stuff. So I decided that we will uh, cover part of the cutscenes for this upcoming DLC with a set of string quartet it's kind of, it's just four string instruments. It's kind of naked, if I can say that, in comparison with, with the huge symphony orchestra stuff. So uh, it's very intimate, it's, it's smaller in uh, its sound possibilities, but yet uh, then the richness of the emotional uh, things uh, can appear even better than that. For one, and actually for a key uh, cut scene in the Teresa uh, story, uh, a folk song was needed. Uh, at first we tried to use some real Czech folk songs because there are so many, but you know, that's the thing with film music or used music, game music. You uh, need to always set, set it up to, to, to work for the exact purpose which you have. So instead of uh, using um, a real folk music, folk songs, I decided to uh, compose my own kind of folk song. I have to uh, write the lyrics, which was actually very hard <laughs> because, you know, it's medieval times, it's simple people living in a village or say living in a small town. So you can't use like 95% of today's vocabulary and still you want to have this feeling of a folk song, of a folk rhymes. I decided to go for a kind of a clear, clean, kind of simple, uh, almost childlike sometimes, or young woman-like uh, sometimes uh, sound. The sound of, of, the, of the singer has to be kind of inner voice of our two main characters, of Teresa and Johanka. That was the point, that's the thing why I was doing this. And I decided that uh, I will ask uh, Daniela, because uh, at first she is uh, one of the best musicians I've ever met in my life. At second, she's not only a singer, but she's also an organist, pianist, she's composing. So it was very easy to do, you know, all the mock-ups and demos and everything. I didn't need to explain anything. And part of the reason is that uh, she's my wife. Mm -hmm. 